Chengdu, meeting place of the world's top student athletes. And inside the Shipu Campus Gymnasium at Southwest Jiatong University, the atmosphere is positively electric. And that is because the host nation is in the house. Welcome to men's volleyball, where earlier today, Poland secured a place in the title match. The match that will begin in just a few minutes time, however, is taking place between Italy and the People's Republic of China, and it will determine who joins Poland in the gold medal contest and who will play for the bronze. Welcome to the men's semi-final in volleyball. It's Italy versus the People's Republic of China. This is bound to be one of the matches of this World University Games. Both teams are extraordinarily accomplished. Italy, of course, won the title here four years ago when it was the host nation at the World University Games in Naples. Here is a look at how we got here earlier today. The first the first semifinal rather played between Poland and Iran and it was Poland that took that match in straight sets to become the first finalist in men's volleyball at this World University Games. This match between Italy and China determines who will play Poland for the title. There are no holdovers from the Naples Universiad team on this Italian side, but they do have Francisco Ricene, a member of the team that won the world title last year, defeating, guess who, Poland, three to two. And as long as we are talking about Italy-Poland matchups, we have to remember that four years ago at the World University Games, Italy defeating Poland to take the gold medal. Here, however, they will have to get past China. And China have fielded no fewer than seven players that represented the People's Republic at the last World Championships. To say that this team is stacked is an understatement. Their captain is the highly regarded Zhang Jinyin, the MVP from the Asian Men's Volleyball Here's Cup the last the year. From top to bottom, they are extraordinary. But you could say the same thing about Italy. Introductions are well underway, and in just a few moments, we will be meeting the starters from both sides. It's volleyball at the World University Games, the men's semifinals, and this one is bound to be exciting. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome celebrated teams, two undefeated teams. Italy, captained by the incredible Francesco Riccine, the little giant of Ravenna. Also impressive, the middle blocker Lorenzo Cortesia. He turned 24 this past week. He comes from Verona. For China, all eyes will be on the number three. Ladies Starting it off is it Zhang Jingyin, the outside hitter from Ningbo University, a consistently high producer. But this team is just solid wherever you look. The middle blogger Peng Shikun has been amazing at six feet, 11 inches tall. You cannot ignore him. And there is also Zhang Guanha, the opposite, also from Ningbo University. Wang Hee Bin, Yu Yuan Tai, the outside hitter. Please be seated. 
The anthem of the International Sports University Federation, which has begun all of the presentations in volleyball at these World University Games. The team captains Francesco Riccine of Italy and Zhang Jingyin of China have exchanged pennants. That means that things can officially get underway. First, we'll have the presentation of the starting players. Introducing the referees. First referee, the Yi Taipan. The officials tonight, Celso Cabrera of Argentina, up high. Second referee, the Taipan. And Joseph Girard of Malaysia on the floor. for China has been running high all week. Spectators packing the venues, taking advantage of perhaps a once in a lifetime chance to watch elite sport up close. Number two, the starting side for Italy, wearing number two, Paolo Poro, the 21 year old setter. The captain, Francesco Riccine, the 24 year old outside hitter. Number 13, Lorenzo Cortesia, the 24-year-old middle blocker. Marco Vitelli, a 27-year-old from Abruzzo. Giulio Magalini, the substitute outside hitter normally, representing the Universita Telemachia Pegaso. And Lorenzo Sala, the number 31. Coach Vincenzo Felicia. China's starting lineup begins with Wang Yibin, the 24-year-old setter from Guangzhou Sport University. Then Zhang Jinyin, the unforgettable outside hitter. Yu Yuan Tai wearing the number four, an outside hitter as well. Peng Shikun, the middle blocker, 22 years old and six feet 11 inches tall. Li Yongzhen, 25-year-old from Ningbo University in number eight. Zhuang Guanha, the 26-year-old opposite. 12 points against Japan and six against Portugal. Damiano Catania will be libero for Italy. And in the libero position for China, the 2022 World Championship team member, Yang Yiming. Wu Sheng is the head coach of the People's Republic. Italy begins on the left side of your screen. They are wearing blue, China in the yellow on the right. formidable profile of Zhang Jingyin, China's outside hitter. 15 points and three aces against Portugal in the quarterfinal. Serving first for Italy, Paolo Poro. It was a powerful smash by Poro. He serves quickly and he serves with strength but too long. Here's Peng Shikung to respond. And it's the number 13, Lorenzo Cortesia, 
who will be credited with that swing to put Italy on the board from the University of Camerino, Riccine to serve. And China responds with a smash of its own. We can expect plenty of that tonight. Cortesia again. The player that turned 24 this past week. A man from Verona. man so many are talking about. He currently plays for Gdansk in the Polish Super League. He says he's learned a lot there, including improving his first pass ability. He's taken advantage of the travel to broaden his horizons. But he says he is committed to bringing what he is learning back to China. Exceptional blocking from Marco Vitelli. Vitelli plays for Power Volley Milano, along with several members of this team. Dropping back to serve now, Lorenzo Sala, the 20-year-old opposite, and one of the driving engines of this team. From Ningbo University, here is Li Yongzhen. Everyone's punching hard. That is your introduction to Giulio Magalini, the 21 year old outside hitter from the Università Telematica Pegaso. He had a whopping 21 points against Germany to lead Italy. Zhang Guanha. Sala. Sala delivering the point. Lorenzo Sala, who resides in Bergamo. He had 16 points and four aces against Germany. Italy has clearly espoused the idea that you serve to win points. You don't serve to start a rally. You don't serve to hopefully get the ball over the net. But when you play like that, you risk having too much power. Serving is an art. Shikun. 
This giant is seen as one of the biggest prospects in Asia. He's known for his quick attacks, but he's known for his blocks as well. blocks when China played Japan and he had three aces in their match against Azerbaijan. Italy is taking a timeout. This one could be complicated for either team to get a real advantage on the other. They are both such high-level performers. delivered by Riccine. Italy is a nation that has enjoyed a lot of success, but here at the World University Games, they did have to absorb a loss in pool play against Germany. This super spike brought to you courtesy of Jean Guanha. overwhelmingly behind the host nation. There was a round of applause when they took to the court for their warm-up, and there have been oohs and ahs with every shot that they've made. Magalini set up by Paolo Poro. to serve. As the teams exchange serves that are over the line, we take a look at Marco Vitelli, a bronze medalist at the Mediterranean Games in 2022. This is his first World University Games. And Sala looks very disappointed at having missed that serve. Sala, the son of the great Andrea Sala, who collected almost 90 caps for Italy over a 20-year international career. Sala again. Super spy. Home to the whistle, number 31. This one goes where he wants it to go. There's what looks almost like a scuffle at the net, and Italy gets the point to tie it up. Oh! 
Monster Claw. That's a wonderful play from Marco Vitelli. Vitelli, a former junior national team standout. He spent much of his adolescence Time playing out. with China. Paolo Poro and Damiano Catania. Time out, China. Sometimes when a team goes on a slight run, as Italy has done over the last three points, a timeout is called to give the players a slight break, but also in an attempt to stymie the momentum of the opposing team. And that might be what China is doing tactically, having called that timeout. Julia Magalini had 21 points against Germany. Other than that, he has been quieter than some of the players on the Italian team in this tournament. But he might be coming alive at just the right time. As China takes one back, thanks to Zhang Guanha. Another look at that play. Seems that Peng was wondering about the call, which went in favor of Italy. Monster block. All of a sudden, Italy has taken a slight lead, and it feels that they may be in control in this first set. But we'll see. China has quite a lot left to give. Zhang again. This 26-year-old was one of the seven players on this team selected to play at the World Championships last year. Oh, yeah. Yang Yiming was ready to chase that into the stands. by China. They saw him coming and double teamed Salah at the net. Here's Peng to serve. Wasn't that lovely from Cortesia? He's a player who has been working his way up for almost a decade now. He debuted in the Italian Super League in Siena in 2018. Siena, the picturesque city just outside of Florence.
Italy's got it. It's one of the more sensational plays that we've seen so far. But the Italians come away with the point. Reason to cheer for Italy. And China will take another timeout. It is worth noting that the Chinese have not yet dropped a set in this tournament. They blanked Japan, then Ukraine, then Azerbaijan, and then Portugal in the quarterfinals. Where Zhang Jinyin had 15 points. First change that we've seen for China. Chen Li Yang coming in. What a beautiful point that was from Zhang. And it catches Sala on the shoulder as it comes down. Here's Chen to serve. It's a move almost borrowed from basketball. Sort of taking the ball and putting it over the net. It's quite the play from Italy. Tipped over the net by China and then spiked right back at them. Italy's doing a nice job of varying its tempo. Substitution, China, number eight out, number nine in. And Wang Dongchen will replace Li Yongzhen for China. Wang, a master student at the Capital Institute of Physical Education in Beijing. And bang! It's Magalini again. with the huge overhand smash, and Italy has widened its lead to six. That's a heady point from Jung. Serving now, Sala for Italy. And Poro puts it away. Set point. That brings Italy to set point in this first of potentially five sets. for them to win this set would give a huge psychological advantage. Remember, China has not lost a set yet at these World University Games. And they seem rather determined to continue on like that. The reliable Zhang. 
he puts China one closer to their own set point. Make that two closer. The Chinese still have work to do. They need to score five points just to catch up to Italy. And so Italy can bide its time here. Poro puts it down. What a fake out. And that does it for Italy. They take set one. Ladies and gentlemen, the end of the first set. The set one of the men's one volleyball year. semifinal Italy. to Italy. 25 to 19 the score over the People's Republic of China. So despite its six service faults compared to China's one, Italy was clearly the superior team in the first set. They gave themselves more chances than China did. Much to reflect upon for Wu Sheng as players warm up for the second set. Italy is looking sharp. They have taken the first set over the host nation. The World University Games champions imposing themselves as they try to get into the gold medal match for the second consecutive games. China has never won the title in men's volleyball at a World University Games. They have come very close twice, silvers in 1987 and 1991. Italy, meanwhile, has won the gold twice in 1970 and in 2019, as well as a silver medal in 1997 and six bronzes. Italy is a team that you can count on to turn up and be great. So heading into set two, Italy up one to nothing. It's a psychological advantage, but will it be a practical advantage? That is still to be determined. China has the height, but do they have the depth? Here is the team captain, Zhang Jinyin. So point one to Italy. Excellent play by the number nine, the team captain. Francesco Riccene. And again, it's Jean Guanha. He was the author of some key points for China in the first set. And clearly proving himself as a man who can be relied upon.
That's only the second service fault that we've seen from China. Serving for Italy, Riccine. Excellent blocking from Portizia and Sala. And Magalini gets a block of his own. The Chinese are trying everything that they possibly can. But so far, the Italians are seeing through it. That's a nice point from Zhang, though. China will bring in Deng Xinping, the number six. The master student who plays for Beijing. Portizia for Italy. A good attempt by Zhang, but blocked by Italy. So far, the Italians have the number of this Chinese team. A wonderful deflection from Cortesia. Of course, China wins the point, but it also looks like it probably hurt a bit. Taking a ball in the abdomen is never fun, whether you're playing recreationally or at the World University Games. What a recovery by Italy. Just when things looked as though they might be out of control, they come through and they take China by surprise. You can never anticipate that the point is over until it's really over. Zhang. And Catania sends it flying. And Riccine goes for it, but isn't able to get there. Incredible cross court bullet by China's number three. Sala calling for it. Free ball for China. Zhang again. That one is not any good. Marco Vitelli is fired up. Wang Qibin coming in for Chen Liang. Meanwhile, on the opposite side of the court, Magalini to serve. Zhang again.
that time. It is good for a point. He's got quite a fan club here, says Zhang Jinyan. Sala. Super Spike, Cold Deliver, number 31, Lorenzo Sala. Sala, a player who seems to cover the entire court at once. He's flexible and he's versatile. Cortesia with another block. Lorenzo Cortesia took under 21 World Championship silver with the Italians in 2019. When he debuted with the national team in 2021, they won European Championship gold the same year. had a difficult time with that serve. When China played Japan in the opening round of this tournament, the Chinese coaches found the team quite nervous, especially during the first set. It took China a while to settle down. Here in the semifinal, the stakes are higher. And with China having lost the first set, the pressure is just ratcheted up even more. Against Japan, their blocking was phenomenal and that helped make the difference. But against Italy, it's been harder. got to be more precise. The Italians looked razor sharp in the first set. But during the last three points, that has flagged somewhat. Something of a change up from Cortesia turns things around in favor of the Italians. He looks like he's setting up for a huge smash and then pulls his arm back right as he goes to the apex of his jump. Result, a point for Italy. No question that that was a smash though. Peng Shi Kung, the local kid from Chengdu Sport University. He made his national team debut four years ago. He was so highly regarded that he competed in the Volleyball Nations League, the Asian Championship, and the Tokyo Olympic Games qualification as a rookie. What a trial by fire. That's a trial for the libero Yang Yi Ming. Courtesy of Cortesia. Great dive from Cortesia. But it's Wang Hee Bin who earns the point. One of the smaller members on this very tall Chinese team, the 24-year-old setter. A 
national team member. He plays for Guangdong, the coastal province on the South China Sea. It has its capital at Guangzhou. All that as Deng puts one into the net. So the serve returns to Italy. And Sala. goes to show they can go down but they never go out all of a sudden China has come roaring back in set two and Italy will take a timeout Momentum can change so quickly in volleyball. The wind can go out of a team's sails and leave them wondering what's happening. Italy's trying to get it back. Peng's trying to take it away. In the meantime, Yu Yuan Tai comes back in for Deng Xinpeng. We are all tied up in set two. Despite coming off of Lorenzo Sala's elbow and angling way wide, practically into the crowd. Nice dig by Sala. And then Poro to Ricine. But not enough. Point to China. China has not been as crisp at the serving line as it was in set one. It has cost them. And they have got to figure out their attack if they are going to challenge for the set and the match. Italy read this very well. And China was slow to react. Timeout, China. 
China has called a timeout. So both teams will head over for a small conference. It is perhaps the strongest team that China has ever fielded in men's volleyball for a World University Games. But so far here in Chengdu, Italy has proven the stronger. Wang Dongchen serving. Salah. Salah gets the point for Italy. Teams have had their troubles behind the service line in this second set. But to this point, it has cost China more dearly. Here's Zhang. And another fault. This is dangerous territory for China. Against Italy, you do not want to go down two sets. You, you want tie? Poro to Magalini. Puts it right past Wong. Well seen by Magalini. And who but Zhang to deliver a much needed point and keep China in the conversation. There is a reason this man is known as the core offensive player on the national team. Poro to Magalini again. It's been working very well between these two so far in this match. And the put over from Poro. Make some noise, make some noise, make some noise for the two teams. That is perhaps not what the Chinese were expecting, and that's why it worked so well. He beats Zhang and he beats Wang Dongchen. No contest. And with that, China will take another timeout. Did 
天说了，前两局就是这回事，最艰难的时候在第三局啊！加油加油！ Italy is within two points of going up two to nothing in the men's semifinal at the World University Games, but China is still within striking distance. And that gets them even closer. Lovely from Wang. There was a hole in the Italian defense. He exploited it perfectly. Salah makes his attempt, but it is a huge block again from Wang Dongchen. Wang Dongchen. The player who is currently playing for the Wolf Dogs Nagoya in the Japanese League. A former standout for Beijing before that. Magalini gets it done. That's a big point for Italy. And it brings them to set point. that again if they are to take this set. China has brought in Wang Bin, the outside hitter from Ningbo University, to serve. Excellent tactical decision from the Chinese coaches. Wang is one of China's main attackers. 14 points in their match against Azerbaijan. And this time it's Italy that wants a timeout. We are tied at 24 apiece. The next team to go up by a two-point margin will be the team that wins this pivotal set. It would mean so much to both of them. It would mean that the work is almost done for Italy. It would mean that China was back in the game If China were to win it, it would be huge. But how costly was that serve? Set point. And the captain, the world champion from 2022, Francesco Riccine, is the man who will put the ball in play. That does it. Italy 26, China 24. Set two to the defending World University Games champions. Italy has a two set lead in the men's volleyball semifinal. 
They want to be the team that faces Poland in the gold medal match, and they are one set away from securing that. Four years ago, an incredibly strong Italian team won the title at the World University Games in Naples. Four years later, a brand new team is a set away from advancing to play for the gold medal once again. These are nervous moments for a Chinese team that is looking for its first World University Games title after silvers long ago. is dealing with adversity. They haven't lost a set in this tournament until this night. And now they find themselves down by two against the reigning champions at this tournament. Italy has had to deal with more controversy. That 3-2 loss against Germany in a way might have toughened them up. Psychologically, it's interesting to explore. China has not had to take the floor, being down even a set, much less two, at these World University Games. They have selected their best players from around the country to comprise this team. But they have come up against very stiff resistance in this incredible Italian side. Set three begins much as set two ended. Two Italian defenders, one monster block. And Francesco Riccine behind the line. That's a nice point from Wang Bin, however. Wang plays for Jijiang, formerly was a member of the Hebei Club as well. His older brother was an outside hitter for the Shanghai Golden Age team. Sala with the smash. And looks like it came off the fingertips of Wang Bin. Oh. 
And again, China has had real trouble with beating Italy at the net. The defense has been stellar. Substitution, China. Number 10, now. Number 12, in. Here is our first look at Hu Zhenzhuo, who is coming in for Zhang Guanha. Who a 21-year-old from Tsinghua University, a national public research university in Beijing. to serve. Super spike. And this time, it's Vitelli coming through with the swing. Right between Wong and Peng. That was a tough shot to control. China nearly sent it out of the arena. So Italy recaptures the serve. But what a spike from Wang. It just shows what he is capable of, even if it does not result in a point for the host China, nation. China. China has taken a timeout. The first in this third set. So far, Italy leading the way, winning the first set 25 to 19, and the second set 26 24. Kong and Zhang Jingyan off of the arm of Vitelli. They make a great play and then they make a service error to lose the advantage. This has been a tricky one for the People's Republic of China. Statement from Magalini. Magalini had 17 points against Argentina in the quarterfinal. And 
he has been really a key player in some pivotal moments for this Italian team tonight. That has fired China up though. And why not? A huge block from Wong. But a quick response from Cortesia as well. Cortesia is a Knight of the Order of Merit of the Italian Republic. That honor bestowed upon him in 2021 when he and the Italian team won the European title. Let's cheer the two teams. So far, Italy has just been doing its job and doing it incredibly well. They have been forcing China to play catch up. And they show no signs of changing that anytime soon. Oh, that was weak from China. Disappointing for that team. Just shanked a bit by Wang Haibin. And China unable to recover. That is a big point, however, from who? His university, Tsinghua, is really a phenomenal place in a beautiful location. The site of the former Imperial Gardens of the Qing Dynasty, a place steeped in history. It was a really nice idea, that, from Wang Hibin. And Wang Bin that time, sending the ball over the line. China. China takes the timeout now. The Italians have been merciless in this set three. Let's cheer for the two teams. Zhang Jinyin exhorting his team. Trying to fire them up. The crowd is doing its part too. But Italy has been so strong. It's an ace for Lorenzo Sala. Wong to Wong. 
Wong Hai Bin provided the pass. Wong Bin provided the point. There was a terrific angle on that swing. Well spotted by the Chinese player. But Italy has a response, a retort, a riposte. And it comes from Marco Vitelli, as have several of their most important swings. When Vitelli signed with Milano, he wasn't sure if he considered himself a central blocker or an attacker. But he said, I am someone who gives my best in everything and how very useful he has been. Peng Shi Kung has chosen to argue that with the referee. But Cabrera doesn't agree. And all Wu Sheng can do is shake his head. That is more like it, however. It looks like it came off the fingertips of Cortesia. A leap, though, from Riccine. At six feet, one inches tall, he is the shortest player on the national team. But he says, however, I have character. I'm never afraid. And I know I have to push every time. And killing difficult balls is the best moment for me. Speaking of killing difficult balls, it wasn't a difficult ball, but it was a beautiful kill from Wang Dongchen. Was a thrilling rally because it was so soft. The point won by Lorenzo Sala. He can serve, he can block, he can spike, and he can put the little tip on the ball in order to fool the opposition. China trying the same thing that just made Lorenzo Salas successful. However, the Italians have seen through it. Fingertips touch from Wang Dongchen. Riccine with an ace. Francesco Riccine, another player with an incredible heritage. His father, Stefano, was an Italian star in the 1980s, winning the European Champions Cup with Parma. And his mother, Betty, was a setter on the famed 1980s Ravenna side. She also played for the Italian junior team. Riccine Alberto Pol, the outside hitter, a 22-year-old from the University of Camerino. As 
we take a look at Cortesia. Poro to Magalini. And victory is on the horizon for Italy. They have been simply superb. But not just yet. Serving now for China, Hu Zhenzhou. And we have arrived at match point. Italy is on the brink of victory. The defending World University Games champions would be about to advance to the gold medal match. And there they have it. Italy wins it in straight sets over the People's Republic of China. They will play for gold in Chengdu. China, meanwhile, will face Iran in the bronze medal match. What a performance from this Italian team. And China has to concede that that was very, very good. The team captain, Zhang Jinyin, thank you. leading the congratulations. The and thank you to Team China. It is quite something to come to China and defeat one of the strongest teams the Chinese have ever put on the court at a World University Games. But that is the story for Italy. 25-19, 26-24, 25-15, a rather short story in the men's and volleyball the semifinal. Italy advances to the gold medal match. China will play for the bronze. Thank you to the fans. The title will be decided here between Italy and Poland. The bronze medal match will be between China and Iran.